actually, before we jump into your questions, there's one thing I wanted to show that I learned this week from a colleague. It's, it's very small, but it's it's big for me because I have in the past um, been advising people who are looking to get to the Outlook group for the team. I've always showed this hack, and if you guys got a better way, I'd love to hear that too. But um, I've always come into the team to go to the files tab just so I can get to the open and share oh, sure. button. And um, and then I use this conversations button on the left to take me over to Outlook in the web, which drops me into the groups area. As you can see here, the Mark 8 project, and that's where the distribution list is. That's where the group calendar is. That's like four or five clicks to get here because often you come in here uh, and sometimes your group isn't listed here. Like clearly I'm in more, I, I think I'm in more than two teams, but I'm only seeing two listed here. So to me, this has always been the, uh, I guess the reliable way of me of getting here. What I learned though, is I had one click too many I didn't know that I can just come to the team and and uh, this button there had open in SharePoint. So I thought that was cool. So if you if you've ever been using my tip to get to the community to that uh, group, we now have one less click to do, I guess. Uh, yeah, yeah, one less click. So I don't know if that's uh, <laughs> useful. I just it was eye opening to me. So there you go. Uh, and if any, yeah, if anybody's got a better way of getting there, I, I mean, I call that a hack just with the number of clicks it is, but uh, that's the only real, real way I know to go from teams to that area. So thanks for watching. Be sure to like and subscribe and check out the blog for more content.